Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Small Screen Maniac. I'm your host, Constance Miller. This is going to be a spoiler-filled review of X-Men 97, Episode 9, Tolerance is Extinction, Part 2. So if you'd rather not be spoiled, uh, go and watch the episode and come back and watch this so we can discuss in the comments what you thought about this episode. So just so you know, spoilers are ahead. Professor X is back. And Scott is not too happy about it. And Jean seems to be playing moderator. But there's so much that is going on right now that they don't have time to argue the schematics about what has actually happened with Xavier in this whole time. So, Scott has decided that they're going to split up, split up into two different teams. The blue team and the gold team, which is a wonderful nod to the comics. And one team is going to go to space to take on Magneto and his reformed asteroid M. And the other team is going to take to the jungle side to deal with Bastion and his powering up of the Sentinels using his own technopathy. Oh my gosh. So yeah. But Magneto has a plea. And he... um comes to Xavier and basically they have a little tete-a-tete and basically Magneto said you left me this dream and I tried to sell it and he couldn't so he asks if any of the X-Men want to join his side of the cause and Rogue and Sunspot both defect to Magneto's side which Rogue I saw coming, Sunspot not so much. So before splitting up, the team heads to Mirror Island, which is a secondary base now for the X-Men. And their, um, their classic costumes are on display for use. And sure enough, like any good comic nerd would know that these costumes are so iconic. And so each of them gets to don one of their old uniforms and Cyclops snaps the uniform over to Cable and says, here, wear this. And Cable says something like, what am I joining the circus? And Cyclops is like, what would you prefer, black leather? Which is a total nod to the first X-Men live action movie where Wolverine is like, you actually go outside in these things and Cyclops goes, what would you prefer? Yellow spandex? <laughs> it was great. It was such an awesome moment. So as the gold team splits, we get a nice little exchange between Storm and Jean, which was wonderfully written. It was so touching and so moving and it was, it was amazing. And so we see Bastion powering up his Sentinel army. And also, Sinister is in the works, and he battles with Jean, and then uses his ultimate weapon, which is Cable, against her. Ooh, heavy stuff. So on Asteroid M, Rogue, Sunspot, and Magneto defend themselves against the X-Men's blue team, and that is an interesting little action sequence, especially between Sunspot and Jubilee. And Xavier and Magneto have the ultimate war of words. And it gets to the point where Magneto takes a piece of metal, slaps it over Charles's mouth and says, shut up. Oh, what a moment. If ever I thought an F-bomb was going to be dropped, that's when I thought it was going to happen. Because I was just like, is he going to say it? Is he going to say it? No. It's still an animated show. But 
Wolverine comes up from behind and just guts Magneto. And in turn, Magneto turns around and starts ripping the adamantium off Wolverine's skeleton through his skin. And it is, it's taken right out of the comics. And it was so wonderful to see. And even though it was a weird little, like, motion comic shot, it, it was still pretty effective. So there's one episode left to go, and there are so many things that are left up in the air, and there is a possibility for something that happened in the comics to happen here on this show, probably for season two. And all I'm going to say is Onslaught. That's all I'm going to say. Take it for what you will. If you want to do some research into it, go ahead. But I find that this is the direction things are going. And Jean's life is up in the air. We don't know whether or not she was killed by Cable or not. She just had this telepathic exchange with Cyclops saying, Scott, I love you. And he's like, no. And that's all we see. And... So yeah, and the ramifications of what Magneto's done to Wolverine, what Charles is doing to Magneto, it, it's, I can't wait for next week's episode. It's going to be so freaking epic. So epic. So sound off in the comments below what you think about this episode, what do you think about the possible, oh, coming of Onslaught. And, and yeah, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Uh, hit that notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I upload a video to YouTube. And don't forget, to, did I forget to hit like and subscribe? You know I did. <laughs> it's so funny, I don't work off a script. Everything is just totally improv. There are certain things I know inside my head. But, um, share this video with your friends. Also, if you're inclined to help the channel grow, you can do so by following the links in the description, which I would greatly appreciate. And as always, love and light to you all.